What is up console superstars and how are you all doing today? I'm hoping you guys are all having if not going to have a favorable day and night And as you guys can see we are continuing our draft champion series especially with the new Draft strategy that we use which wasn't really a strategy We're just going for four wins and we're not really going to be putting in any strategy in general until we get the four victories That we want and right there we got a pretty good stop on the fourth and six I believe we got first and 10 right now. I'm running a quick slants play. Why? Because it has been working actually pretty good for us lately. We pass it over to Graham. He gets the user and he tries to get a pick basically. And we're able to run a touchdown with Graham without a problem. So we're feeling pretty good. 7-0 lead, especially when we're going to be getting ball at the end of the second quarter. It feels pretty good. We hit the quarterback a little bit late, but they never call that. And I really don't know why. Because sometimes when they hit me late, or not even when they hit me late, like... They hit me 0.1 milliseconds after I throw the ball. They usually get the flag against them, but it never actually goes against me. Now, one thing that I've been doing, which I'm thinking about stopping, is always pressing R1 to strip the ball. And one of the reasons why I feel like stopping that is because I feel like square just gives you better results in general. As you guys can see right there, I tried to use the user, and instead of going in for a tackle, I ran away from the runner, and I tried to strip the ball when he was nowhere near me. I think if I press square, I'll have better results. And maybe if I don't switch to the user or whatever so fast but we get a pick right there without a problem he threw it right to my man he was right there just waiting for the ball to pass up the middle and he got that intel right there so now we're running i believe a flanker drive play don't really know if that's what it's called but we're looking for a first down right here we pass it over to tate the third and he runs it down for a first down so we're feeling pretty good Carson went so far is 2 for 2 with 48 yards and this could be the draft strategy that takes us all the way to 4 victories or not the draft strategy but the team in general that takes us all the way we have basically we were in intense pressure if you ask me right there we tried to get the pass over to Sims but unfortunately it didn't work now he was rushing us he was blitzing us so I was just trying to get rid of the ball maybe it would have been better to actually throw it away but I don't know how to do that yet if you guys do know how to do that make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below so I can actually use it for the next time I'm feeling some pressure and right there, don't really know what happened to our defender. He just stopped running after the guy for a second and left him wide open. Tried to get another strip right there, but we were able to just push him out of bounds, basically. And then right there, we almost got a sack, and he was able to throw a bullet right in there to his receiver. We could have probably gotten an interception. We had three guys right there, and none of them were able to even get near the ball just to even swat it, which would have been great. So third and three, he does a pitch, and it works perfectly as he gets down there. For the touchdown now we're at fourth and one i'm doing a qb sneak here because most of the times it works especially when he doesn't even have his defense prepared for it got three yards out of that qb sneak and now we are at two and six we're trying to get at least one more touchdown especially before the half in my opinion it would be a pretty good idea and we pass it over to graham who would have actually had a touchdown he would have been able to get there if it wasn't for that late tackle on his leg right now what we're trying to do is run a quick slant again if anything we'll just run it in i guess he was prepared for a he was prepared for a qb sneak that's why he had his lineman set up like a goal line he was basically blitzing us and maybe if i would have passed it to someone else besides graham we would have had better results right now r1 seems like the best option but i of course i wouldn't throw it to him instead i threw it to tate and tate was actually there to take the ball away from the receiver or the cornerback and actually catch himself once again we're running in there i press square a little bit too soon as, and as you guys clearly saw i just dove right there we tried to strip the guy unfortunately it didn't work and now he's sitting at third and ten looking to make a completion for a first down or get in range for a field goal basically he's actually running the ball which isn't a bad idea especially when you got someone that plays the users like me which had a clear tackle right there, but didn't even press square to tackle him in the first place. And I was third and fourth. We're trying to get a stop right here. He only has about nine seconds left, ten or whatever. And he gets a touchdown, unfortunately. So it's 14-14. We get the ball back. And I'm feeling pretty good. We've been able to get a touchdown every single drive lately. So that's a plus if you ask me, except for that pass right there, which was almost intercepted without a problem. I don't recall if that was fourth down or not. But we weren't able to actually convert the fourth down he gets a pretty nice pass over to his man right there which he 
goes ahead and gets a first down now he's sitting at third and three i'm pretty sure he's trying to throw the ball right here instead of maybe getting a quick run i guess we are blitzing it a little bit and he gets a pretty good pass to williams who actually fumbles the ball because i did end up stripping it and we had open lane but we ran into a re uh, defender right there and now what we're basically trying to do is find an open man and get our ourselves a touchdown basically so we see R1 was open a little bit, but Tate, he is just always open when he cuts, uh, I want to say, horizontally. He's just always open, so we always are going to end up giving him the ball if nobody is going to be guarding him in general, and he was wide open right there. We passed it over to Graham, who is doing a great job. Unfortunately, his speed is not up there, but he wouldn't have been tackled right there, so we would have been good, and I was just trying to run in a touchdown because it's pretty close in my opinion. And we give it over to Carson Wentz, who actually gets the touchdown. So we are up 21 to 14, and we're feeling pretty good about this because we are most likely taking a W, if you ask me. We just got to make a stop. We throw the ball, and he gets a first down. So he gets a great pocket pass or a great window pass. Don't really know what it is. You call it when you pass it between two defenders who were extremely close to the wide receiver in general. And then he gets another pass this time to Williams. I tried to strip it. But I think it's just better to press square at this point because whenever you try to strip, it just doesn't work. Or it's easier for him to break the tackle, I guess, because you're more focused on stripping him than anything else. And he would have actually had a good run right there. As you guys can see, I tried to strip it once again. I was trying to call a timeout here or something just to, like, ice the kicker. But I said maybe it's better to just save my timeouts for now. And it actually is a field goal as it hit off the camera. So a very lucky field goal for him right here. And then we are basically getting a kickoff return right here. We give it to Jackson instead of Tate. And it looks like Jackson is going to provide some magic as he jukes a little bit of players right there. They miss a tackle and we're running it down. We're down by the 40, the 30, the 20. He could have made a tackle this whole time. And look at him. He decides to do it at the last minute. We get another touchdown going. And I expected him to concede. I mean, right now, it's an 11-point game, a two-possession game. I would expect him to concede. We used the user right there, but weren't anywhere near the ball. He's using no huddle plays right now. I really don't know how to use the audibles right here. I'm learning all of that right now as well. As you guys can see, this might not be the best formation in general. And he finds a man open. We tried to get the strip, but once again, the strip just not just doesn't work for us most of the times now he's at first and goal with a minute and 46 left and he's most likely doing an onside kick if you ask me which he did but unfortunately we got the ball or fortunately we got the ball but then we gave the ball up not running the ball and going on fourth and downs and we got the intel to actually take the game out of his hands we should have probably just dove instead of trying to like keep running the ball we should have taken the down and with that we take the w so if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want more make sure you guys are here tomorrow and as always guys have a great day and night stay positive keep on grinding keep on smiling and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out console superstars